Flyers and posters are important for any type of event, and that was no different for the raves in the 1980s. For illegal raves, they were a means of communication between the promoter and the party goers, especially because they didn't want the police to find out. Some of these posters were as simple as a sheet of paper with the name of the party, the date, time, but not the address. They would have instructions of where we could meet, it could be a train station or a petrol station. And from there, the promoters would get as many party goers to go from that meetup point to now take them to the party. The promoters did this so they could stay one step ahead of the police. And if the police did find out where the party was, they'd have a second warehouse sorted out already. There wasn't always a correlation between high quality flyers and a quality party. Some would promise the world, but when you arrived, they'd have like one smoke machine and a couple lights. Whereas some parties that had the minimal flyers would have crazy production at the rave, but the venues were terrible. They probably have no toilet or no running water. By 1989, flyers were becoming very artistic with real typography and art direction. 